Hi Devas, my divinely inspired, vivacious artists. I'm glad you're here with me today. I have an unboxing of three diamond paintings. Rose Profit Creations, that's what it is. Rose Profit Creations, I have been waiting for these. It's a nondescript box. They come, all three of them, individually wrapped in this um, plastic. It's like a, a big trash bag type of thing, which is no problem with that, um, except that I would think it would have been cheaper to... It comes in, in the box says International Fashion Uprising ABC Diamond Drawing, Colorful New Upgraded Drilling New Ecological Cotton Diamond Painting. So, uh, I know it's a diamond painting. <laughs> International Fashion Uprising. What does it say here? Environmental protection of original eco canvas. Oh, interesting. Not faded, washable, and folding. I guess that means you can fold it and wash it and stuff after it's done, maybe. The world's leading cutting technology. Panoramic stereo. What? With bright and dazzling color. Okay, interesting. Germany imported new digital adhesive spray deck. More delicate and healthy environmental friendly. Made in China. Okay, well I got that from the, the, uh, the um, grammar here. It says that it gives making steps. <laughs> Spread the canvas on the table, rip off part of transparent film, stick diamonds on the canvas until you finish the whole painting. <laughs> okay, duh. Uh, according to the drill package number and symbol on the canvas, but not the serial number, so as to prevent confusion of numbers. This is pretty basic. Um, Put the film over it if you're not finished so that it doesn't lose the glue. You use a wet cloth if you stain, but not a towel because it might stick. Gently wipe the surface. Okay, scroll outward so that if you're going to roll it, it, they stay mounted. Okay, so let's look into these three. Uh, Let's look into these three and find out what's in here. <laughs> really interesting. I know when I order things, I order both square and round from the same company so that I can give you a, a, a good estimation of, uh, of the company. Now this, uh, it, because they were individually packaged, this one really came boogered up. You see how, how crushed in it is? And it was retaped on the edges here. This one is pretty crushed and retaped as well. So I'm interested to see how that will turn out. Um, maybe I better not do that until I get into it. Let's look at the little one first. Let's look at the little one first. You're seeing this for the first time as I am. All right. Ah, Rose Profit Creations. That's what it is. Rose Profit Creations. I have been waiting for these. Orders them as they're ordered. She doesn't have a whole lot of them made up ahead of time. And nothing wrong with that. Okay. This is an elfin, female elven warrior with sword. It is a square diamond painting. 40 by 60. Oh, she's pretty. Ooh, look at her. Let me bring out the drills here. Ah, oh, look at her. Look at that face. Isn't that a cute face? Cutie pet. This reminds me of my granddaughter. Strong. Strong, strong person. I like the canvas. It's not too fuzzy of a back. It's stiff, but it's not too it's not hard at all. It's got the pinked and poked edge for, for fray, for not fraying. This has 40 colors. The symbols are, are very clearly marked out. It has a DMC color code. It's got the symbol and they are numbers and letters with some, a few symbols in between and the sequence number on the edge here. Very nice. 
Look at her pretty face. She got little horns on her helmet. Elven Warrior. And it says Rose Prophet across the bottom. Rose Prophet Creations. It's got some color blocking. A lot of the black is color blocking here. It's got some places of confetti, so it's a little bit of both. Okay, this is the sticker you get with it. It does appear to be a sticker. It's not cut out individually, though. It's fine. It doesn't have to be. Let me double check to make sure I know it's a sticker. Let me see. Will it open here? Yep. It's a sticker, so that's good. Good to know. Isn't she pretty? Isn't she pretty? She's a doll baby. What a strong doll baby. <laughs> it looks to me on this that it's very clear. The symbols are very clear. Okay. Without a light pad underneath it, I, that would make it easier because they're darker colors, but I do believe that you can see the symbols very clearly. You want to see some of them on the canvas here? Without getting it too in the glare here. Nice. So what's in her kit comes in a little plastic bag. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Back to my out. We have a pen with a, with a two placer on the end. And you have a four placer and a seven placer here. You have a white Mosfa tray. It doesn't say Mosfa, but it's the same type of thing white tray for your diamonds. You have a plate of pink wax. You have a squishy. And because this is square, you have a sharp tweezers. Very good. Now let's take a look at the drills. Oh, there are some ABs in here. I can see them sparkling. One, two, three, four ABs as per the package. Now she has them already kitted up in baggies. I don't want to take them out. I'm never going to back in in the right way. I don't want to take them all out, but she has them already kitted up. Okay. And the colors here. Look at the bright colors. Really nice. Really pretty. Ooh, that's gonna be pretty. Which a lot of three tens, which is normal. Especially when you have a three ten background. You have some grays and oranges. Oh look at that pink. Look at the fuchsia pink. That is gorgeous. And the browns, and we get into the peach. A little bit of stickiness with the sticker there. Oh, there's a big one, the bigger peach in here. Let me see. And we have some of the browns, yellow, orange, pinks, purples. Look at the purple. Ooh, love it. And the red and green. Very nice. I don't know um, whether she uses resin or acrylic drills. I'll have to take a look at that in the next grouping here. Okay, we have the peach. Another gorgeous purple. The bright yellow for the background and the gray. Dark, dark purple. Yum, I love that. And then 
you know, the Aurora Borealis. But let's look at the basic drills for a moment. If you see any dimples on the backs of them, or any like flashing or misshapen, major misshapen drills, that would be acrylic. If you do not see the bump on the back, and they look extremely uniform, then that would be the resin. And uh, it's hard for me to see that. I think they're resin. I the, the bottom backs are perfectly flat from what I can see. I don't see any curvature to them at all. No dimple marks in them. I believe they are resin drills, which are a more quality drill. They line up so much better next to each other. And we have the four Aurora Borealis colors. An orange, a peacock black, a green, and a light blue. Okay, now let's find out where they go on a canvas. So let's go to bottom to top. Okay, the light blue, the letter L. Um, let me see. Okay, I see some in her braiding here, some in her eyes, and in the top of her crown here, and at the top of the sword, and at the bottom of the sword too. That's nice. A little bit in her hair. Very nice. I like how thick this plastic covering is. Nice and sticky too. I like that it's in her eyes very much. Okay, the green is the letter U on here. Let's see if I can find that. There's some in the background here, outlining the yellow. No, they're mostly down here, mostly uh, between the yellow and the dark green is the flashy green. Okay, and we have the darker, this is a green, I, it's not a peacock black, it's a green, a very dark green, and that is the letter O. Okay, in her armor here, there's the dark green in her armor. It really shimmers. It's like the light reflecting off of it. I think I would have done some of the peacock black, too. Instead of a completely black background, I think I would have, like, in her armor, uh, to further define the shape, her shape, I would have done the peacock black in certain areas, and I might still do that. What I mean by peacock black is just the 310 black. Okay, so mostly that is right in here. I don't see it anywhere else. There's like a one or two spotted here and there. Okay, and the bright orange, the bright orange, little letter E. Ah in her crown. That's the gold of her crown in here, and the horns. For sure. And there's some on her, the metal of her armor. Maybe a few in the bottom of the sword. Yep. But I've got plenty of 310 uh, Aurora Borealis, so I might use those in like in different areas to further define out herself from the background. Um, maybe a little bit under the horn here and in her hair. That would be pretty. But this would be really nice. 
do for my granddaughter to frame for her. She's my little warrior. <laughs> my little warrior princess. All right, that's the first one. And we'll look at the other two. Okay, this next one. This one's all buggered up on the side. Okay. This one is a round. Ah, uh, yeah. This is the Easter lamb. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. It's around. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. I do believe these are her own artwork, her own um, her own design illustrations. So that's why it comes with her signature in the bottom of the painting, on the bottom of the painting. This is 50 colors. There's one, two, three, four ABs on this. Isn't it beautiful? Look at the sweetness. The sweetness of that lamb in the flowers. Oh, she's so cute. She's 50 by 50. Easter lamb number one. Yeah, she's so cute. Very sticky. I'm doing this because I'd like to unwrinkle it a little bit more. The, the cover is pretty wrinkled up. All right, and here is the big sticker. With, again, 50 colors. And that's kind of what she's gonna look like. I think the colors on the sticker are kind of muted compared to what they are gonna come out on the feature. Okay. And again, her kit. Stop. Is the same. A white boat. A basic uh, pen with the two placer and a squishy. A four placer. Yep, there it is. There's the seven placer. Get a tweezers, even though this is round, a plate of wax, and the white boat. Okay. And here are the colors. out first. All right, here you go. Let me get down in here with the colors. <laughs> mauve, a nice mauve in there with the mustard color. Look at the blues, the blues and the purple. Beautiful Easter colors if you ask me. In here. Oop, I picked up that purple again. Okay, more like a dusty purple. Yellows. Some teals, aquas. Yeah, my husband and I were debating the other day what is the difference between teal and aqua? Is one more blue and one more green, and which one is it? <laughs> we both disagreed on um, which one is more blue and which one is more green. So if you happen to know, let me know in the comments below the difference between teal and aqua, and which has the more blue, which has the more green. Okay. I know these do not have the DMC color numbers on it. This is just the sequence number. But you'll get an idea of the colors that are in the kit. If you really want to know the exact number so that you can tell which ones that you would bling out differently, 
let me know and I'll take a picture of the, um, the big sticker and show it to you. And you can tell which color you might want to change. A little difficult to know that until you get the kit. I think. I, I would have a hard time predicting which ones I want to bling out until I have the kit in front of me and I see where they are on the canvas and, and match it all up. It's kind of hard to do that otherwise. But I, if you email me at, at uh, wandasworkbasket at gmail.com and ask me for a copy of the sticker, I will email you a picture of it if you need to, if that would help you at all in deciding whether to purchase the kit. Now I had be aware that there is a longer lead time on Rose Profit Creations because of the way she orders and gets them made for her. Number one, they are her artwork and number two, um, she doesn't order them ahead of time so she doesn't have an inventory you know, to worry about. So it does take a while to get to her, and then she makes sure it's all, it's all packaged the way that she would, wants them to be packaged before she sends them off to you. So it does take a while to get them from her, but that's okay. Um, I'd rather have, you know, something quality um, to wait for. Just don't think you're going to get it in a few weeks and then have it out right away. All right. The aqua, the blue, you'll see in the flower down here. You'll see around her neck, on top of her head here, and around on this side. So it's right around, it brings your eye up and around her. For the red, I see pops of it here. Some of the flower down here, and some stray reds here and there. I'll keep your eye moving around. The yellow. I see a few dotted in here, a few dotted in here, a few dots up here. A lot of it in this flower down here. These flowers, the daisy. Very pretty. And the purple. Where are we going to find the purple? The purple is right around, again, around the, the framing the face of the little lamikins and down in the flowers. So it's really pulling your eye um, around the face of this beautiful little lamb and then in the flowers around her. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. She will be beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Third one from Rose Prophet. It's called Easter Delivery. All right, let's open her up, let's see what she's got. <laughs> there she is. Here he is, right? A 50 by 50 round called Easter Delivery. It's a Rose Prophet original. It's made in the, it, it's made to look like there's old fashioned Easter cards, old fashioned Valentine's and Easter cards. Don't you think? I think it's beautiful. It looks like it has a, a bridge back here and a house on, like an old fashioned house um, behind there. It's chimneys. And you got the Bun Bun, who has an Easter basket carrying down the lane. And there's some thistles or flowers down here. Beautiful sky. You've got pinks and blues and oranges. And you've got this beautiful blue jacket on the rabbit. And he's holding something in his hand. I'm not sure what that is. I'm sure I'll figure it out when I start drilling it and it comes becomes clear. But there's lots of eggs, Easter eggs, in the basket that he's ready to deliver. And it looks like there's a town up underneath behind the bridge on the other side. Here is the sticker. It looks like it's holding a bottle. 
or some kind in its hand. See that? Cute. All right, so this one has 50 colors as well. One, two, three, four ABs. And it's a 50-50 round. Same kit as you've seen in the others. I don't want to open it up this time. It's the same exact kit. And here are the colors. And this is a round. And I still see, I still see that they are, I believe they're resin. I really do believe they are resin and not acrylic drills because I don't see any dimple in the back of these. They are perfectly flat and they're perfectly shaped as well. I don't mind paying a little extra if you know you're going to get drills that are worth it like this. Okay, take a close up look at the drills. There's a nice lavender. Rose colors. Greens and browns. And red. Nice. Let's see. Oh, see, I never get them back in the bag the same way I find them. It just didn't happen that way. Oops, what did I drop? There's an orange, some peach and yellow. Look at the baby blue, isn't that pretty? More peach. I like that green. And more earthy colors. Come on now. I'm trying to get away from me here. Okay, browns. Gray, more blue, and purple, and the greens, the natural greens. I am sure they're all going to be mixed up now. They're not going to be in the order like that. <laughs> they're not going to be as nicely packed as you put them in here, Rose. I'm sorry. Pinks and color. Oh, I love the bright colors in here. It's going to be beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. They are a nice size to do, too. They're not too big that you feel like you haven't accomplished anything for a long time while you're doing them. Um, and they're not too small either. So that. Uh, not too small so that the. Uh, actual details get lost somewhere in a, in a muddy painting. It's not that at all. These are beautiful. Oop, and now we have the Aurora Borealis at the end. There are four Aurora Borealis colors in this. Two yellows, a red and a white. Let's see where they come out on the painting. Start with this one. The lighter buttery is the letter X. The tree. There's some in the basket. Now wait, I only see one. Oh, it's all back here. Coming like in the wake of the bunny over here. And a little bit in its paw. Yeah, it's all behind the bunny. That's interesting. Okay. Now we have the 48 red, which is the letter F. That is going to be in the bow tie here and in the ear. A little bit in the eye and the nose. That's cool. Uh, is it the same one that's in the basket? No, that's the letter B in the basket. 
mean to get in your way here. And the gray, it's not a white, it's a gray. It's a 49, it's a gray, and that is a, a little square. Where do I see the little squares? I see some in the shadow under the bridge. There's some in behind the house here. It looks like they're scattered toward the top. Yeah, there are not many of them. I, I believe they're scattered back here under the bridge. Maybe behind the bunny here in the clouds. And then you have this type of yellow and that's all over. Right in front of the bunny, on the bunny belly. I have some in the front of the bunny. There's some in the house up here and some in the tree up here. So, so far you have, you have some sparkle in the bunny you have some sparkle behind the bunny. You have some in the pathway. Oh, excuse me. In the pathway and up the tree and in here. I think I might add some sparkle to the basket. To the greens in the basket. I think I would do that. To bring some focal point to the basket, maybe to its ear. And that's where I would add. But it's beautiful, beautiful Easter painting. Absolutely beautiful. I hope you like these three from Rose Prophet Creations. Again, um, give them, again, give them enough lead time to uh, get the creation to you. And they appear to me to be worth the wait. Worth the wait. Um, they are resin drills from the looks of it. It's good quality canvas. It's a good quality material. Um, nice sticky canvas. Um, the only problem I had was in the mailing and getting the boxes crushed, but it didn't, um, it didn't affect the painting at all. So that's not a big deal. As long as you're expecting those things, you'll have a good experience with the company. I really do believe that. So when I get some of them done, I will let you know. All right. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me for Rose Profit Creations, and I'll see you again soon. Bye, divas.